Hello, hello everyone. So as the title of the video says, um, this is a Trinity Stamps kind of a release and review. Um, I ordered some of this and then they reached out to me and asked if they could send me some product and I said, sure. <laughs> I have a hard time saying no to anybody. Um, so yeah, it arrived and I thought I would do basically a release and review because a, a, a lot, if not most of this, or if not all of it, is from their newest release. So, but first off, um, she sent me some of the Trinity Blending Buddy Ink Blending Brush. Now, anyone who hasn't used blending brushes yet, I highly recommend them. There are several available from pretty much every company at this point. The unique thing with theirs is they have a flat, like a rounded base so they can actually sit up, which I thought was pretty cool. And these ones do come with a lid. Um, I know I have Studio Cotty ones that you can get lids for as well. So just the perk of that is depending on how you're storing them or if you want to take them with you, it's going to keep the bristles from getting smushed as well as if there's ink on it. So, and then dust too, because everything gets so dusty. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that these ones have a tapered edge. That actually is unique to all the ones I have. I'm just trying to think. Just taking a look at all my blender brushes. Yeah, I don't have any that have a tapered edge like that. So that's kind of cool too, because if you want to get into like little narrow areas and stuff. So, hmm, I think that's actually kind of cool. So that's their blending brushes. And then, a whole bunch, oh, they were super, super generous. Um, I think I've got coordinating dies for these as well. Yes, okay. So there's a whole bunch of cute little stamps. I had been eyeing these up so I'm kind of excited that they did send these to me because um, I think these are just going to be cute for making kids cards. So we've got Unbelievable. So basically sort of a you know Yeti slash monster type little dude and it's just a little three, four, three by four stamp set. So we've got Have an Unbelievable Birthday uh, Bigfoot. That's the word I was thinking of. So it's like Bigfoot. You got footprints, you got little trees. <laughs> there's a little skateboard. Like just cute. So we got that one. And then there's this one, which is Hugs and Squishes. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot your birthday. I hope it was ribbiting. <laughs> uh, you got little cattails. Cute. So we got that one. And then there's this one, which is a rare friend. So you got kind of a little like dragon. So you're a rare friend, you're a gem, you're on fire. I like how you can kind of build the cute little sentiments. That's really cute. It's a big little skateboard. I like that. These would work very good too for little boy cards. I find that's one thing I don't have enough of is cards for, or just styles for little boys. Everything's like little girl stuff it seems like half the time, but these will go either way. I just like that option. So you got those ones. And then there's the Let the Good Times Roll, which of course is like a favorite one. You got a cute little unicorn, you make everything magical, believe in yourself. Little roller skates you can add. <laughs> I think that's adorable. Like just adorable. So we got that one. And then yeah, there are coordinating wafer die sets for all of these. So you've got all of the wafer dies to cut out the characters. I think, yeah, even some of the sentiments, which I love always always love that like even this one let the good times you can die cut each one of those I like that I like that a lot okay if that makes me super happy it's silly how I've become obsessed with being able to die cut my sentiments but that's just it what it is so anyway got those and then we have this cute little monster set this is the monster love stamp set it's got cute little monsters and then I like there's a solid heart and then little sentiments that I assume were designed to fit on that heart. So you could almost do it like a little conversation hearts or just a little candy, you know? So you could stamp the heart in color and then stamp the little sentiments. You got Be My, Miss You. So kind of a Valentine's theme, but really you could use these add little balloons from other dyes or sentiments. So these ones, the coordinating wafer die with a couple of them, this dude, and it would be this dude, it cuts around their little 
arms or hands. So you can have them holding little hearts or little of any other little accessories. So I kind of really like that too. I think that's really cute. So I've thought. And then there is this cute little set. Is this it for the stamps? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> this one, which just kind of cracks me up. This is Otter Space. Greetings from Otter Space. <laughs> otters in spacesuit. I, I don't even know where you'd come up with that, but I think it's hilarious. So yeah, I hope your birthday is otter this world. I like puns, so really cute. I like that there's a separate um, space helmet and you got a little fish so you can stick them in there, like stamp him and stick them in there or add it to other images if you wanted to. So there is a coordinating wafer die set and same thing. There's dies for all the images and then dies for all the sentiments and they're individual. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. That's different. I've, I haven't really seen that. Usually it'll be like, you know, a little banner die or a shape die to cut around it. I kind of like that these are, will die cut each word after you stamped it because then you just have more options how you want to lay it out. So anyway, it's got that and it also has, it has a die for the little heart trail that you can have on them, but it also has a little stitch line one as well. That's really fun. So got that. And then to go with that, there's this really cute little, this is the Make a Spaceship standalone wafer die set. And hopefully I can, I'm gonna look when I do my editing, I can include like a graphic so you guys can see it just built. But yeah, all the little pieces so you can build a little spaceship. So you can use that with these guys but that would also work perfectly of course with some of these little characters you could stick them in the spaceship or heck any of them really like why not why not put a unicorn in the spaceship you know it's just fun so we got that and then I think all these are just they're not like space themed they sent me I ordered some stencils they sent me some I'm just going through and okay so yeah, got those. And then I know this was part of the new release as well. This is the Your Number One Shaped Card Die. I did not realize, I looked at it online and I didn't realize that, yeah, this is actually one, this outline piece is one big wafer die. So then you'll fold it and create a card. That's actually pretty cool. That's really cool. I think that's so fun. Okay, so there's a bunch of words. So you can make like a card for a coach, friend, you're the best, etc. You're number one, fun things. Oh, there's even a little bow because you could add that to the finger, like to remember something. You do that and be like, sorry, I forgot your birthday because that's me 24 seven. So that's really cute. That's, uh, yeah, seeing it in person makes way more sense. And then this is a separate die, the outline of the actual fingers. You can die it from different color and superimpose it. That's really fun. Okay, so we got that one. And then there's this cute one. This is the four bar card builder die set. So this is four bar size and four bar is roughly one, two, three, one, two, three. I'd say this is about three and a half inches. I would say three and a half by what, five? Yeah, there's three and a half by five. So you've got some stitching, wafer dies, there's a scalloped little frame that you can use to make shakers, a tag, a couple of sentiment banners, another sort of outline label wafer die. I don't do four bar cards very often, but then when things like this come out or I just am reminded of the four bar size, I always am like, oh yeah, I really like that size. There's something about it that just, because they'll still fit in A2 size envelopes, which is perfect for me. But the smaller size, it's interesting how it just completely changes from A2 size to four bar, the dynamic of a card. So that's a really cute little die set. So speaking of like different card shapes, this was also the main reason why I ordered some of the new Trinity Stamps products was this big old, this one's huge. So this is the Slimline Series Envelope builder. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> so these are wafer dies to build your own envelopes that are slimline. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Maybe you do. Like slimline cards are taking over. They're kind of the new thing. Um, everyone's really loving the size. When I post slimline cards, I get a lot more um, like, it, like responses from people. 
and I've been loving them. My biggest concern is with Sunline cards, you can use just regular business envelopes, but business envelopes aren't fun. And depending on the size, etc., etc. So this die set, let me just remove it from the backing. There we go. Um, obviously, just like almost all of them, you need to cut them apart, which I will hopefully remember to link. These are the little snips I use to die cut. They're like jewelry snips so they can get into smaller areas. So you want to cut all your dice apart. But I just opened this so I could look at the exact size. So this is nine inches. So the base of the envelope is nine inches. So you got nine by four. Yeah, nine by four. And then there's this big one that will create the flaps. So you die cut this one twice, and then you have two options here for the top and bottom to make your own envelope. I'm excited. I'm excited. So in, with that, they included a big friend word and a hello, which I really like. And they also included a really nice um, stitched and scalloped border die, which will work on some line cards. So I really like that too. And then also a reinforcer wafer die which is fun because if you want to do like tags or anything like that so really cute or you can do it as um fold over the flaps and you could add little reinforcers you know to do a string if you're gonna like hand deliver it that would be really fun i'm ideas ideas are rolling so i'm really excited about this it's a, it's definitely a pricier die set because it's huge but i was like i am gonna get so much use out of this wafer die set to make and then I can make more slimline cards because I'll finally have like, I can make little custom envelopes, use pattern paper, etc. So with that, there are several coordinating like sort of wafer die sets. So I got this one. This was the Slimline Series won Wonky Stitched Wilderness. So you got a wonky stitch wafer die, which some of my favorite wafer dies. I like that. It's just a basic. And then there's all these other ones included so you've got like little mountain tops with little stitched areas that you could add for snow there's trees there's clouds they're not wafer dies the clouds won't cut out they'll just add a stitch line in that shape which is really fun and you have a little burst like a little shooting star little like stitch star areas a burst so you could do that for like fireworks even if you wanted so there's a really fun little set so there's that one and then there's this one which is the i don't know the name of it there wasn't a name on it. I, I'll have it on there. So another frame. We've got a frame. Yeah, just a solid thin frame. There's also just a long. I'm curious. I'm going to have to look this up online because there's a fold line here on this second eye. And then we have words of love you. So it's a really thin word, but then also the outline. And then some hearts. Cute. This is really cute. I'm going to have to look this up now and see exactly how this all like comes together. That's fun. So we got that one. And then we've got another slim line. This, but yeah, we've got a cloud wafer die with stitching. We have a grass wafer die with also a little bit of stitching detail. And then just a smooth like horizon wafer die with a bit of stitching. And they're all long. So you can clay, do landscape sized scenes with all these wafer dies. Super fun. So there's that. And then last of the dies that I got was this really cute. This is the Marshmallow Alphabet. It's a really cute font. Kind of whimsical. This will go really nicely with all of those little stamp sets. You know, things like this. I like spelling out my kids' names or you can spell out custom sentiments. You know, hello, what's up, etc, etc. So really cute. I like that it includes like this fun little heart and little star. So yeah, really cute font. This is not like anything I own already, which, and I own a lot. So I'm actually kind of glad they sent this to me. Because usually I just kind of pass over a lot of Elf dice because I do own a lot. But this one's really cute. <laughs> so we got that one. And then along with the like kind of slimline idea. Okay, there's one. Yes, there were stencil sets, which I was kind of excited about. Because of course, when you're stenciling, you can use just any regular size stencil on a slimline card. You can start here and then move the stencil 
depending on the most stencils, that should work. It just depends. But they've released some slimline, like, stencils meant for slimline. So this is the, this is a 6 by 9 two-piece set. And this is slimline stripes. So you got, and of course, basic stripes. You can never have too many. And obviously the great thing is you can use these on regular size cards as well. So really fun. Or you can layer them up, create some fun little patterns. So we got those. Let me set those with these. And then these will be slimline, lots of dots. This one's a four piece stencil set. So we've got, ooh, a whole bunch. This will be fun. This is, a, oh, this is another great one just to use with everything. So you got four different dot patterns. You got a large one, a medium one, a smaller one, and then this one that is, let me move these out of the way. It's kind of a gradient, like how it fades in like that. So that's really fun. So yeah, these are six inches by nine inches, which is really cool. So we got those. And then I had also ordered these. I have a feeling these are, I'm going to be using these quite a bit. Lots of companies coming out with these now. These are just basic shape stencils and masks. And I want, I just, yeah, I thought why not order these? Because I see so many cards that I just love. Oh, there's have guidelines on them. I like that. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, you guys can see it. There you go. Theirs have guidelines, like, etched into it. This isn't, like, printed or anything. I kind of like that. That'll make it easier to line things up. Because, yeah, okay. Let me move this one out of the way. So this is the circle set. So you've got four different sizes of circles. And then you do have the centers that you can use that you can use for, like, masking if you want to mask a circle off. And same thing, like, these were already to have the etch lines in them, too, so you can line everything up. Oh, I like that a lot. I always just thought they would just be like, just, you know, just the shape cut out, just basic, simple stencils. I really like that they have the etch lines in them. That'll make it so much easier for me. I've been getting really bad with trying to line up shapes, but yeah, you can line everything up. So you've got the graduated sizes. So there's the largest, second largest, then that one, then that one. So really cool, really cool. So yes, the rectangle will have the same thing. The heart one doesn't, but the heart one has two shapes. So this is A2 Foundations Rectangles. The other one must have been A2 Foundations Circle. But I thought circles and rectangles are something I will use the most. And then same thing, you get four stencils and four masks. These ones have the etch lines on them as well. Oh, I like that a lot. All right. So yeah. Perfect. I'm so excited about these. <laughs> I really am. Okay, so we got those. And then there's this heart set. This is the layered heart. This is a two-piece stencil set. Oh yeah. Okay. I see how this all works here. So you have a large heart and a smaller one. And then this and same. Oh, these do have, there is an etch line around the smaller sizes to make it easier to line up perfectly. Oh, I like that. So you could blend on say a light pink, then layer this on top and then blend on the second color or the same color and it'll be darker here, but then there'll be that border of lighter. So I like that. And I kind of assume you can actually do, you're still getting four. They've just included them on two stencils. I'm excited. These are really fun. So yeah, and then you've got masks as well. In fact, I can tell just from these. Yes. So there's technically four layers to this heart that you can do because they're sized. So that's really fun. I really like that. So we got that. And then with these stencils, we have, 
I'll have to put up the images. Yeah, I'll have to put the images because I saw this one online as well. This is the Lakeside Mountain set. And same thing, it's one of those ones where you can just create a whole bunch of scenes. But you've got the stencil. So we have the stencils and then all the pieces for masking as well, just depending on what you want to do. So let's put that guy there. Yeah, we have you've got your water, your tree line, the mountain line, you know, your horizon. And then there's other pieces that will layer up and they're also etched. So that's really cool. And then you've got all these ones. You've got little stones, trees, clouds, all this stuff. Like, just gives you the ability to build. And that goes really well with that slimline wafer die set with the mountains and all that stuff. Don't want to lose any of these pieces. I keep all my stencils. I just cut the tops off the packaging. People ask me often how I store my stencils, and that's literally all I do. I just take my big scissors and I trim off the top of the packaging. And then that way I can just keep them in the packaging. I'm not wasting the packaging. Plus it makes it easier to, you know, keep track of things because usually there's the backing paper, all that kind of stuff. And then if I need to, I can just add a label to the packaging. And then if and when, like some of my most used sets, if I manage to like tear the packaging, either I usually will just tape it <laughs> and I just keep reusing it because why, why waste any of it? Um, but some of them, if I've completely destroyed the packaging over use, usually it happens with wafer die sets. Then I'll use my like actual heavier duty sleeves and stuff. But yeah, I just keep them in the packaging. So got that one. Okay, two more left. I'm like getting excited and rambling and all that stuff. So I've got this one. This will be like a confetti style of set. Oh yeah, this is cute. This will work really, yeah. Layered confetti stencil. So you got A, oh and they're labeled too. I like that, A and B. So you can layer these together. So you got the confetti and they'll layer nicely. So you can do different colors. And then you've got the ribbons. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you can do, you do A first, and then when you layer it and do the next one, it actually completes the ribbons. That's fun. I'm going to add a cinnamon. Maybe add some die-cut balloons. All right, got that one. <laughs> and last but not least, this is the layered fireworks stencil. Ooh, I'm excited with this one. Layered fireworks. Another two-piece set. Oh, these are cute. And yes. Oh, fun. That is so fun. And same thing. Everything's etched in. So you can just see where to line everything up. That's really cute. So you can do them, you know, in different colors. That's really cute. Love it. I love fireworks. Absolutely love it. So, there is... A bunch I think if not all of the newest Trinity stamps products I will have links um, I was gonna at before I sat down to film this, I was gonna have a project like in this video but this is getting way too long <laughs> so I'll do the project separately like a project video separately so stay tuned for that because I just I some people love long videos other people don't and I don't want anyone to have to like sit through me blabbering because I know not everyone loves these videos a lot of you guys do just to see everything so I'll do that separately so stay tuned I'll have videos coming I'm going to show that awesome slimline envelope die and I don't even know where I'm going to begin I have so many ideas so thank you guys so much for watching I'll have the links below as well as on my blog I always link directly below my video to my blog post just expand the description box below my video and I have all the links and the info and the disclaimers and yada 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 it's all there below and then I link to my blog post and in the blog post I'll have picture links to everything as well so it's all there check it out if you're interested thank you all so much for watching hoping you're all staying safe and healthy and I will see you all very soon in the next video